wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best refractometers. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the Magnum Media Salinity 1080C is a good budget choice for those looking to save a couple of bucks, but it's not as durable as some other models and needs to be calibrated before use to ensure accuracy. It's small enough to fit in a pocket, however it does need a strong light to work, and testing should be performed indoors. At number 9, the Deepwater Aquatics ATC DW1111 is a necessary tool for any marine aquarist. It allows for 20-20 calibration at room temperature, ensuring accurate readings, and it has a fine scale running from 20 to 40 parts per thousand salinity. It's great for daily use and includes a comfortable textured grip handle, but it's not as easy to read as a digital model. Coming in at number 8 on our list, save time and energy by investing in the Aid Advanced Optics 515-B. It precisely measures the sugar content of beer or wine through a simple drop placed on the prism, and it's more accurate than hydrometers. It features an aircraft aluminum body that's built to last, and a crystal clear premium optical lens. However, it doesn't work for honey. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easybid.com and search for refractometers, or click beneath this video. At number 7, the ergonomically designed Brew Your Beer will help you optimize the quality and flavor of your home brew to your satisfaction. If you're ready to step up your brewing process to the next level, it's a smart choice. It consistently delivers accurate readings and comes with a lens cleaning cloth, but it doesn't come with an instruction manual. Moving up our list to number 6. The Milwaukee MA887 takes the guesswork out of determining the salinity of natural and artificial seawater. It's suitable for ship, shore, or home use, and can be easily wiped clean when you're finished. It comes with a low battery indicator light and automatically shuts off after 3 minutes of inactivity. However, it is hard to calibrate. Halfway up our list at number 5, the Aid Advanced Optics is an easy-to-use device that measures the sugar content of beer with no conversion needed, as the scale measures both bricks and SG. It's a great addition to any home brewer's toolkit. It includes an automatic temperature compensation of 10 to 30 degrees Celsius, and delivers an instant reading with a couple of drops. It comes with a focus adjustment for easy viewing. At number 4, the XTEC RF40 measures the freeze point of automotive coolants like propylene glycol and ethylene glycol. It can be used in liquids from 32 degrees to minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit and also provides the battery charge condition. It includes a vial of distilled water and is more accurate than a DC voltmeter. It comes with easy to follow instructions. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the portable VGBTX1 has a convenient streamlined handheld design, so you can keep it handy for quick reference testing. It also features a non-roll design so it won't roll off the table and get damaged. Ambient light illuminates the scale and it boasts a durable metal and rubber outer shell as well as a rubber grip that protects it from hand heat. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easybid.com and search for refractometers or click beneath this video. At number 2, the Dual Scale Agriculture Solutions accurately measures the concentration of aquarium salinity using specific gravity and parts per thousand testing. All it takes is a couple of drops and it's very easy to use. It includes automatic temperature compensation, a screwdriver and a cleaning cloth, and replaces hard-to-read hydrometers. And taking the top spot on our list, the Premium Spur Scientific 300003C is a good choice for testing products with unknown sugar content when you need superior precision. It can be used in labs, production lines, or science classes. No battery or other power source is needed, and it comes with a certification of calibration, as well as a hard carrying case. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easybid.com and search for refractometers, or click beneath this video.